Hi, I'm Teresa Rashid. The Michigan Education Association recently held another day of action. Their latest target was State Representative Marty Nolenberg of Troy. Carrying signs, members of the Michigan Education Association march in front of the insurance office owned by Nolenberg. Come visit us in the classroom. Some approached our EAG TV crew wanting to know more about us. Education Action Group. Gotcha. But didn't want to talk to us on camera. The president of the local teachers union did speak to our crew. This isn't just uh, to picket in front of Marty Nolenberg's uh, business offices. This is really uh, a statewide Michigan Education Association crisis activity. He said Nolenberg's business was targeted because of his support of Governor Schneider's education reforms. It's not rational. It's just, let's just throw all of these bills out there that are just going to impact and impact and impact and impact. And collectively, they're destroying, they're weighing down the public schoolhouse and it's going to crash in on itself. That's really what's happening. The governor recently signed a bill into law that eliminates debt pay raises in teachers' contracts when school districts and unions can't reach a new agreement. Now, before this law, if no new contract was reached, debt pay raises from the old contract had to be awarded. Union leaders say actions like this by the governor hurts education. Almost a billion dollars to fund higher education that used to be funded out of the general fund so he has enough money to give his cronies and big business and corporation tax cuts. And that's what our governor is doing. He's just playing a word game with everybody, but he is actually stealing from students in the state of Michigan. He is dismantling education. He is taking away the future of this state. While the MEA members protest in front of Nolenberg's office, some stopped to sign a recall petition against Governor Snyder. I think this is sort of extremism. Uh, these, these people don't respect any sort of boundaries. Uh, they're not here protesting the policies of Representative Nolenberg. They're here protesting employer Marty Nolenberg. Mike Reno watched as union members sauntered by the office. They're down here trying to disrupt his business, and the thing that uh, we need to wonder is, what, what are they hoping to do? Maybe that he might have to lay somebody off? Jeremy Nelson is a candidate for the Rochester School Board. He came down to see why members of the Troy Teachers Union would be on the picket line just a couple of weeks after they agreed to a new contract. It's disappointing to see them come and try and interfere with business and try and, and scare people away from businesses that need the money to hire people. Some union members walked. Others passed out handouts to cars. The union's target is clearly Snyder and his education reform agenda. Nolenberg's business is collateral damage. And they would love to see public education in this state become private education in this state. Charter schools everywhere. It's no longer the will of the people. It's the will of a, a board, the chairman of the board. You elect your school board members. They make the decisions for your, your district. Charter schools all of a sudden are run by a company and they're making decisions for your children based upon the bottom line. And that's a reality that we don't want. The MEA has been funding school board candidates for years and then bargaining with them at contract negotiation time. The union sees Governor Schneider's education reforms as a threat to its power and relevance. Who funds the candidates that are Republicans? Corporations, big business. Who funds the candidates that are Democrats? PAC funds from unions. So what a great way to eliminate your opposition than to destroy their funding. That's what's taking place. During the protest, Representative Nolenberg was at the state capitol. This is a war of ideology here that's taking place all across the Midwest, but in this state in particular. And it's a war the union will continue to wage as it fights to get its way. We did talk to Representative Nolenberg, and he says that he has to respect any group's right to protest. But he says if the MEA wants to sit down and talk about why he supports education reform, he's willing to do that anytime, anywhere. Teresa Rashid, EAG-TV.